Hey everybody, it's Savage Age, and in the last episode, you know, we went fishing, but in the episode before that, I left you guys on a little bit of a cliffhanger here. Marlock took us across the desert in his sand flyer, and I don't know if we made it or not, and also did Folu die? There's lots of questions. Hopefully some of them are answered today. Marlock again. How many trips does that make this month? I don't think I've seen anyone who cares about making a profit as much as he does. Tell me about it. Just look at the size of those crates he's bringing in. Yeah, well, I suppose you have to be like that to make the kind of deals he does. We're on opposite sides, remember? That is true. I mean, that is, that's a big crate. So they noticed how big it was, but that's about it, huh? They didn't seem to notice that there was people inside? Excuse me? Hello? Looks like the coast is clear. Hell yeah, Cray. We stand for you. It looks like everything went as planned. Yep. Now that we've come this far, there's no way we're going back without Alina. That's fair enough. I mean, we have gotten pretty far, but now we are crossed the, uh, the sand desert, as it were. The sand desert. The sand ocean <laughs> is what I meant to say. Of course, it's the sand desert. Jesus. This village is called Coin. Um, after the soldiers who guard the Imperial Causeway. I see. Coin means people of the bridge in the language of the Empire. Sorry, there's like something... I don't even know. It's like stuck in the back of the, my throat. It doesn't really hurt. I don't, I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, there is a shop here. These weapons were brought by the Empire during the war. Interested in anything? Probably not. I have $81, but there's some stuff. Actually, I think we already have literally everything here except for the crepe cape, which I actually would like the crepe cape, to be fair, but I don't... Well, I do have a bunch of freaking trout and jellyfish. Jellyfish are with two of pop, so that's not worth much. But trout are good. I literally just need eight trout, and I have so many. So if we can sell that, we'll still have ten of those. What about sweetfish? They're only worth ten. That's not as much. Orums are only worth five, so that's not really that much. I'm just looking for extra stuff to sell. Piranhas, eh, bluegills and bass, and rainbow trout. I need all of those, honestly. So that's not the tea. These things, I want to keep all those. An extra leather armor, sure. Because I only need like different types, as it were. One extra brass helm, sure. If I can get rid of my, all my extras to get this crepe cape, I'm going to feel pretty good. I have 571. I need like 700 something, right? Hmm. Healing herbs are worth a decent amount a piece, so I, that's always something... The jellyfish, there are so many jellyfish. I mean, come on. Well, that's really not that worth it, though. They can f heal 50 HP. I'd rather use them like that. The sweet fish, though. How many did I need? I need seven. So let's just take, like, nine just to be safe. But that gets us even closer. Vitamin, you can take one of those. Sure. Apples, they're worth five a pop. Boy, I got apples. All right. That puts me at 800. That should be enough. Yay, Nina, that's totally not that worth it if you don't want to do what I just did for that. But here we are. There we go. She has the crepe cape now. Um, hello, good sir. Did you hear that they sent some in, in some troops the other day? Heard they were supposed to be looking for a dragon or something. Uh-oh. Heard a flyer where a lot of crates came in. I figure it must be old Marlock making another one of his supply runs. Probably. So everybody seems to know Marlock here. Coin is a weird little town kind of wraps around. I can't wait to get back to my home and see my girlfriend again. I'm gonna, uh, I wonder when I'll be able to go back, though. I don't know. They haven't really used the gateway much since the war ended. This is the entrance to the Imperial Causeway, which links to the eastern con continent of Levette to the western one, Hesperia. But do you know what it really is? No. It's not really a bridge or causeway at all. It's a magical gate that can transport people or things instantaneously from place to place. Well, shit, that sounds like the kind of thing we want, so let's sneak in there. Now, I do love the music here. Anytime we get, like, kind of close to the Empire, the music is dope. There's quite a few new enemies around here, as well as, um... What am I trying to say? 
new enemies as well as some treasures so we want to keep our eyes out for everything i'm at a pretty decent level with everybody and i have decent equipment so it's not like anything here is going to be too like exceptionally difficult or anything for us but still important to keep just in mind just keep it in the back of your mind because this is a little bit of an area Oh, one thing I wanted to show off, I did write a note in the two videos ago when I did it, but notice with Ryu, I did also learn target from the snap flies with Folu, so that is something you can do. Just, you know, PSA, I guess. All right. Continuing through here, I one of these entrances, I swear, has an item, like, right there, but there's a bunch of items in this whole place. Well, not like a bunch, but I just remember, like, it's easy to miss them. See, most of these areas, I've played this game a bunch, obviously, but a lot of these areas I kind of don't remember as well. I haven't, like, recently played through them, so it's all based off of memory. Here's two bandits. We haven't technically killed them before, but we've seen them. Let's try stealing any of the items in his bag before he does that. So we don't have steel, but we have pilfer. So if I have these guys pilfer a little bit, maybe one of them will steal, and then we can get something to happen. Oh, there it is, Filch. Oh, you almost you almost did it, though. It's a low percent. Oh, you're doing Filch, too. Nice. Weren't able to steal. Dang it. We're all Filching. Look at us go. Let's try again, though. That didn't seem to happen. I'm pretty sure the move I was thinking of before, they start using it after you steal the item from them. I might just be wrong. They might just actually not have any moves, but... Yeah, this is why I wasn't too pressed about getting the steel ability specifically, because you pretty much all do this all the time. The filch. I mean, oh, didn't do it that time, but that whole turn we all did it. Oh, well, maybe next time. Ooh, a moon sword. I think that's a rare drop for those guys. I don't think it's necessarily better than what I have. Solely for the reason, like, yes, it's good, but this hits twice. That's plus one hit. So really, I'm doing, like, 100 power as opposed to that 65 power and you got to think of it like that but that rare drop is still good that's another item in our belt so cool we'll take that i'm pretty sure is, is it not this room is there anything to do with this button no this is just one of those there's like a main elevator that'll go through here eventually and that's what that's from and then in here uh oh those were just some bandits and there was no filching so, oh well. Not too pressed about it. I'm just stoked that we got the Moon Sword. That's pretty rare. Healing herbs. Uh, we'll take them. Nothing there. Pretty sure there's shelves on every side of this, so you have to check them all. Ugh. Usually I love using the joystick instead of the directional pad, but in some instances, like right here, it can get a little sketchy. Is it just the healing herbs in here? That's going to be annoying. I thought there was one more thing in here at least. No, just the healing herbs. How many items do I have anyway for stole? Let's check. So 26 there, 36, 39, plus 15 is what? 39 plus 15 would be like 54, right? I think you need to be over 80. So we still need like 26 more items. Of different varieties so we'll just we'll keep looking out for them i didn't show that battle but it did have a gong head there are gong heads in here we've seen them already before though so nothing i'm personally too pressed about but it is nice to be getting money and stuff again it's been a uh, been a minute since we've had actual money this is one of the treasure chests a glass domino that's just a helmet if you don't already have that for everybody then that could be useful, but we already have that for everybody that can have one, I'm pretty sure. And there's Were Rats, and I mean, not Were Rats. <laughs> That's from Final Fantasy VII, because I've been playing that now, just mouse. There's a mouse in here, so you can run into those. Pretty easy, yet again. Most of these enemies are enemies we've already seen. So th here's that main elevator I was talking about. Now I want to say that there's a, which floor do you want to go to? So there's one, two, three, I think we're on four right now. There's one of these, I think, or maybe I'm just thinking of this one right here. 
But there's one I spot that you could like use the floor. Anyways, you can get back down here. So if you used your money, you could go all the way back to the bottom. Go to that shop with pretty much no consequence. I just is this. This is just a regular. Oh. Ooh, is Nina going to get her level? Oh, one away. That's rude. Poor little Nina. She'll get a level up next time. This is just a regular old... Yeah, we could have got here. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm thinking of a later area. Anyways, so we'll just, you know, book it back up to the fourth floor where we were. Like I said, you could go back down to that shop if you need to with the weapons and stuff. But it's like, we pretty much, we pretty much have what we need. In my opinion. I think there's a soul gem there I probably could have got for just, like, item's sake. Um... I do want to sort all my stuff, though. No, just do a normal sort. Normal. Okay. Yeah, jellyfish can heal HP, so we'll go ahead and use them, because I have so many. Might as well. Urshan, how did you get hurt so much in the back there? Oh, well, because you're at, not actually in the back. In the battle. Um. Other than that, yeah, I think we're, we're kind of chilling right here. Urshan is hitting so hard right now. Pretty sure that was like 650 I just saw. Yay, Nina, level 13. Love to see it. The thing is, is there's like lots of tricks that you can do early game if you really like grind out and get everybody overpowered, but I just did not want to do that because it makes the game unbalanced in my opinion. But let's go ahead and take a look. Urshan, you're 60. Oh, there's a way. Huh? It's one of these buttons. I forget what it is. But it shows all their... There it is. Like that. So 62. Kray's still 67. Jesus. But yeah, they're pretty... Urshan's way more tanky than everybody at this point, though. Urshan can take some hits. That's for sure. Just a uh, food for thought. Well, here looks like a good little elevator. We're probably close to the top now, I think. And I don't know how many floors this thing has, but... Oh, yeah, we're definitely at the top. noise look at us so this must be the gateway eh? the lift yeah that's kind of weird oh shit what the excuse me Oops, sorry. It looks like it's been activated. Well, what are we waiting for then? I guess we're supposed to jump in there. Come on. Oh, well, let's jump in there then. Come on. If that's the gateway. That's far enough. Oh my gosh, sorry, I'm just getting a bunch of notifications all of a sudden. It's kind of, what the heck? It's interrupting, there we go. All right then. And just who taught you people your manners, hmm? Who do you think you are? This belongs to the Empire. Did you just think you could just walk right up and use it without asking? Hmm? I mean, yeah, kinda. We don't want any trouble. I don't suppose you'd be willing to let us go, would you? <laughs> I'm afraid not. I owe that runt there for what he did to me. That hurt, you know. All right, if that's the way you want it, then. You must be pretty brave coming after us by yourself. Brave or stupid. <laughs> sticks and stones, sticks and stones. I came alone for a reason. 
because I don't need any help to deal with the likes of you. By the power granted me, I command thee. Yumchuf? Is that how you say his name? Warrior spirit, thou art summoned. It's another one of his little creations, and it's boss time! You guys didn't think we'd get through this area without a boss, did you? So let's go ahead and take a look at him. The charm is its weakness. Try a combo attack on it. So yeah, he actually is weak to combo attacks, as strange as it is. Let's go ahead and meditate with Ryu. Let's go ahead and have... Hmm. Cray, I want you to start focusing. Or at least do one focus. And then Nina... I think I'd want to use you right now. Um... Yeah, let's just use Barrier on Cray right now. The main thing is we have to take a turn anyway just for Ryu to get into character, you know? But there he is. In his glory. You love to see it. Get Cray to focus, that's great. Now, I'm wondering if I can get a good combo off with these three next turn. I'm hoping so, but we'll see. I'm going to use Nina's Sever to kind of separate things and see if that works out for me. Whirlwind, I think that semi hurts. Ouch. Alright, so I think I want Cray to open up with a Shadow Walk. Then I want Nina to hit him with a Sever. And then we'll have Ryu finish it off with a flame strike. Because obviously Ryu doesn't have like a strong dragon form with this with Aura yet. Shadow Walk. 532. Eh. We should maybe focus some more, eh? That didn't combo with Nina either, but Flame Strike is comboing with her, so at least it's a combo. 61, that sucks. Seems like he's only really weak to magic. Oh, there we go. He's off balance. That's what you're looking for, is to get him off balance. So then, Cray. Cray, let's just have you go to the back now. And then we'll have Urshin. Urshin, you have a good attack, so just attack. And then Nina, you can sever. And then Ryu, flame strike. Nice, 624 from an Urshin. Regained his balance. Not bad. Then we can use Sever again to try to combo, and then we're going to try to throw him off balance again. And then kind of have a cycle going. And we're still hitting twice with Flame Strike because of the sword, so that's always good. He's off balance again. Perfect. Urshin, let's see. I don't know why I took Flame Strike off of you, Urshin. I should have kept it on you, but we'll just have you attack. Let's have Cray. Oh, it's going to take you a while. Let's just keep the same thing up then. But it might be better actually... Hold on, Urshin. I know your attack is strong, but his flame strike might be better. And then we could sever. And then you could do what? Wild shot. Just to try to get a combo. Yeah, because that's like a thousand. That's way better than Urshin's. Sorry, Urshin. 224, not bad. Oh, and then Wild Shot's coming off, too. Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. That's good. Oh, you regained your balance. No one cares about that. Ouch, Nina. That's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and do Urshin with Eddie. And, of course, Ryu Flame Strike to throw him off. And then Nina will just let you... You can heal yourself. You're fine. So, Eddie, just because we're getting the combo to throw him off balance, that's his whole thing. Got You've got to combo him. Boom. Eh, low damage, but it is what it is. He's off balance again. <laughs> and Nina's feeling good. Ryu's AP is running low now, so we, that's something we got to keep in mind. But let's go ahead and get another Flame Strike. We'll let Nina come out here with the Sever, try to connect it all. And then Urshin, if you could get another Wild Shot, we're living for it. Boom. That, yeah, that was like a thousand right there. Oh, yeah, a thousand and four. It shows it over there. Duh. Ah, oh, he's dead. Dang, I wanted to see what Urshan was going to do. Too easy. Two thousand experience for all those. So, level up for Cray and Urshan. 
Cray is level 12. Awesome. Urshan level 13. Great. Ice Punch. And an Orum. Yum chuff. But, but how? Look! Oh shit, it's starting to close. The gate, it's closing? I mean, we were fighting for a while. It's got to close eventually. Move! Go, go, go! Nice. We got through, buddy. A uh, dragon? But that's not possible. Well, that's not good. Now he knows. Hey, looks like we made it through, though, right? Hmm. Well, that was kind of cool, but kind of freaky. Well, I guess that means there won't be anyone coming after us for a while, at least. That's true. Still, I don't think the Empire will give up that easily. We'd better keep our guard up, just in case. Absolutely. All right, let's get going. Elena's is here somewhere, and I intend to find her. Yeah, at least we're we're in enemy territory now. We are crossing the sketchy times. Whoop! But now we're on the other side in a different causeway. I think you still want to explore this one just as thoroughly. Like, I think it's smarter to just physically walk down, even though it's kind of a pain in the ass. The thing is, is we don't really have to come back here ever, so it doesn't really hurt us that the elevator isn't kind of come up with us. Dreamland. So if you still have any business with them, you can get them. They still have a nice armor drop for me that I'm going to be trying to get, um, but it's really rare. Oh, and let's check out Ice Punch for Urshan. I think I already have that or better, but yeah. Yeah, I already had a nice punch, but still, it's good to have. Always good to have extra items. Yeah, and if you're slightly exhausted, you could heal, you know, obviously. Because that last battle, here's another chest. See, these are the ones I was thinking that are easy to forget. Ammonia times two, that's not bad. We'll take them. Ammonia's heal you, and there's essentially, like, if this was Final Fantasy, they're the Phoenix Downs. Same thing. All the same. There was just two armors there. I was trying to see if I could steal something from him, but that wasn't the T. Ooh, Ryu got another level up. Level 13 now. Nice. We're living for it. No item, though. I want the item drop. Damn it. And then in this room, vitamin times one. I just sold one of those, so that's good. Does this look familiar? You're probably discouraged to look through all these again, but I'm not, because I love treasure. I don't remember if there's anything in these or not. I wanted to say I thought there was, but who knows? Probably not. It's probably exactly like, it's a exact replica of last room, but they changed the eye. Gong heads everywhere. I actually don't ever mind seeing gong heads. Ooh, a dragon scale. I'm pretty sure that's a new item for us. That's like their rare drop. Let's see. I'm pretty sure, let's see. Before I make guesses. Temporarily raises defense, yeah. So we'll hold on to that because we need different types of items, obviously. Let's see. Oops, sorry. Do not mean to switch my front man. I think I want to go this way first to check this room out. Is there nothing down here? No, I don't think so. Worth looking at, though. So yeah, you could have came to this floor like this if you felt like it, but of course... We'd like to make it hard on ourselves and walk down. Noise. More gong heads. Urshan is just crushing, honestly. Like, Urshan's hit seems like it's stronger than Kray's, even though in direct power it doesn't seem like it should be. Like, it is. So, I don't know about all that. Oh. So, at some point, you have to take this down. So, let's run back up real quick and it won't take that long especially without battles in the way that's great i mean we're bound to at least get like one or two on our way there here's nice cray took some hits there because i was trying to get a good combo but it's fine wasn't meant to be 
I still have plenty of healing herbs, so we can use those to heal. Boom. Alright, do we have to keep moving? We're pretty much out of MP. At this point, I think I just need to go to... Here it is. Let's see. I think I want to go to the second floor. Because we looked at the third for sure, but we haven't gone to the first. Because we were kind of blocked off. I think. And I could be wrong and waste... But like I said, free accidental grinding. Never a bad thing, and especially for the money. We need money. And that will only become more apparent as we move forward. Oh no, see, this is the bookshelf room. Okay, so we did go to the second floor. I had to look. So now... We just want to go to the first floor. And get the heck out of here. Noise. So that's the exit, but of course, there's some more exploring to do. Another level up, like she's just crazy. She flies off the radar here. Let's see. Um. Oh, is there nothing here? And then that just leads to the outside area with no, okay. I thought there was an item there, but I'm, I'm mistaken. I'm a fool, let's leave. Where the heck are we now? Hello. Did you folks come from the east? That's odd. We were expecting Captain Razo. You didn't see him, did you? No, no. Never seen him in my life. Who's... Razo? Who's that? Just kidding. I guess I shouldn't act like I don't know who Razo is. I'm waiting for my boyfriend to come back. He's been sent to Levant to guard the causeway from our enemies. Oh. Interesting. They seem to think that we're coming from the other way, then. So here's the causeway, and then here is Astana. And look over to the west there. There's like a building and a place. That's because that's where Falu has been. Just thought I'd point that out. The music here is dope. Astana's a cool little town um, of the Empire. Hello. Haven't seen people like you around here before. Well, the Empire is a pretty big place, so I guess it's not surprising that there's people like you living in it, too. Ex people, excuse me. I mean, whatever. So in here, I think this is the main place I want to go, of course. This is the shop. They have weapons and stuff. So the Kiras is really good. That's expensive, though. Definitely give one to Ryu. Um, the Crepe Cape, we already did. Glass Domino, Face Guard. Could be really nice, too. I'm just kind of looking at my money. Part of this is definitely money management. And items. I want to start really collecting items. So let's get some life sandals. I don't really want to equip them though. Let's see extras that I can sell. Yeah, that extra. I well, no, I want to hold on to one of those actually. Yeah, I don't know. We might just be a little strapped for cash currently. Which is fine. We'll get more money as for things coming up. So screw you. Money's a little tight just because we're holding on to so many items right now. But it's not a huge deal. I mean, right now, as you've seen, we're kind of blowing through most things. Rand, is that you? Oh, have you seen the aqueduct? That's where Astana gets all its water from. Hmm, we'll go there eventually. And what's this big can in there? I'm sure we'll learn more about that later. Hello. My boyfriend's one of the guards stationed at Coin. I hope he gets rotated back here soon. Yeah, that'd be good for you guys. I've heard they need lots of water to cool down the nade after it's been fired. That's why the army built the aqueduct and connected it here. Oh, so when that big cannon fires, it gets real hot and they need lots of water to kind of put the brakes on it. That's fair. Hello. Every so often, we get a bunch of strange looking people coming in here. They don't tell us who they are or what they're here for. We're just guards, so they never tell us what's going on. Let me down there. What? Looking for someone? Well, I doubt the person you're looking for isn't here. This is the military installation with only military people, you see. Okay, okay. So we can't get in there. Mainly, you just have to talk to random people, and it's that Rand guy. Well, it's not Rand. He looks like Rand from Boff, too. We miss Rand. Um, but anyways, after you do that and you learn about the aqueduct, we can go there. So let's go there.
for a little bit. We don't have that much left in this episode. But there's maybe one more cool thing I can show off. Just kidding. I mean, there is something cool here that I can show off, but it wasn't in that battle. And I realized that I didn't heal or anything. Which is silly. So, I'm going to camp. We'll talk to everybody and then we'll end the episode. And then in the next episode, we'll go to the aqueduct. I've never really been outside the castle before. I never would have imagined it be making a trip to Asperia. Well, I've done it now. There's supposed to be a truce between the Alliance and the Empire. If anyone finds out we've snuck into the Empire, we'll all be in a lot of trouble. But now that we've come this far, there's no way I'm going back without Alina. That's fair. Urshan says she is impressed by that device. To be able to move things across continents in an instant is an impressive feat. Yeah, that is really cool, actually. Let's go ahead and look at our skills for a minute, because there's a couple things that I was like, what the heck? Oh, that's just the list. No, I want to add. Yes, I have so many Orem, I don't mind. That's a good thing about this. Um, Snap. That's a weird one, but let's give that to Nina, because why not? Chlorine, I don't really care. Blind, I don't really care. Focus, we have that on Cray. Don't regret that last resort, though. We can go ahead and put that on Urshan, because Urshan has so much defense. It really is, like, very powerful if Urshan uses that. Looking through the skills. Oh, Flame Strike. Let's give that to, back to Urshan. And Burn, Eddy. Don't really care about that. Target. Undodgeable, but 50% power. Mm, I don't really care who has that. Not a huge one for me, so that's good there. I mainly just wanted to get Last Resort and stuff on Urshan. Let's rest. And then we'll save, and then I'll see you guys in the next episode. Make sure to smash that like button for me to show your support for the series. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already to see more content like this, and I will see you in the next one. I love you guys. Bye.